If you can't buy something 10 times, don't buy it. No. If you can't buy it twice, don't buy it. If from here, from here, it's a nice bag. From here, it's not a nice bag. I'm not a multicolored hardware kind of gal. Welcome back to another video, guys. In today's one, I'll be going through all my secondhand bags. Finally, I've been wanting to do this video for a really long time. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to be going through all my secondhand bags that I have bought on the secondhand market. I have four at the moment and the rest have been purchased new in store. I get my bags anywhere possible, but my main site that I tend to always go to is Vesti Collective. One thing I will say about Vesti Collective, which I don't like, is that it's really, really expensive when you try to resell the item that you bought on the website. Apart from Vesti Collective, I also shop on Depop and Spock. So if you want to see more, stay tuned. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe to my channel. My name is Jennifer is on and I'll be uploading twice, twice a week. Um, and I'll be doing fashion, beauty, skincare and makeup. And yeah, I might start vlogging because obviously you guys don't know me, know me. Like you know me, but you don't know me, know me. Anyway, let me stop talking and start the video. So when you buy a bag on Vesta Collective, what happens is that the seller gets notified and then the money gets obviously transferred to the seller and then they will have to send it to Vesta Collective. Vesta Collective then makes sure that the item is real. Um, they, If it doesn't come with original packaging, Vesta Collective will give you their packaging and then it gets shipped over to you. So it's not a buy now, next day delivery no you may have to wait weeks for um the person to send out the product but obviously best day collective will send the seller reminders but the whole process does take around three to four weeks and um, so if you're looking to buy something quick and you want it delivered the next day best day collective is not the one for that this is what um your bags will come in if uh, the seller doesn't have the original packaging and this is just a protective case and it says we only sell items we love uh Vesti Collective and it just comes in this little pouch which protects the bag and it also comes with like um that bubble wrap to obviously protect the bag. This was the first item I purchased from Vesti Collective. You've seen it on my channel before and it's the Louis Vuitton Toiletry 28 I believe and it's the old style. Um so let me just open it. I still have not worn it so you can see it has that tag and this is what the bag looks like the print the canvas this is what the zip looks like and it comes with this and let me just so as you can see ignore my nails Veste collective it has all of that on it I'm gonna open it up as well so you can see So this is the Toiletry 28 and basically I was looking for the Toiletry 26, the new style one, and I couldn't find it and I didn't want to buy it. No, I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it on the secondhand market and I couldn't find it um, on the Louis Vuitton. <sighs> My fiance is coming home. I like the bag but I just don't find it practical like it's not a bag that I could wear out if I'm going out for dinner it's definitely a toiletry bag just because of the shape um I will use it for when I go on holiday and when I put like my my creams and my makeup and stuff like that in there but it's definitely not a bag that I can wear out and that was my sole purpose in terms of price this bag cost 183 pounds that means the seller probably received a hundred pounds for this bag which is a shame the hardware is in good condition it's not chippy it does have the old vintage smell um i won't be selling it because i don't feel like it is worth much but rudy yes <laughs> you're gonna be on camera come in no yeah, I'll turn it off. I'm all right, thanks. Are you sure? I'm all right, love. 
What else can I say about it? This is a nice toiletry for a guy. If a guy wants a toiletry bag, this is a nice shape for a guy. Um, but I just feel like it's a very awkward shape and I have not been able to sort of grasp or find a way to use it. But hopefully one day it will come in handy. From Vesso Collective and it's actually a Gucci one and again it comes in this protective covering and I have actually worn this bag before so you won't see any tags on it but it's this Gucci side bag um this is vintage gucci and the reason why i liked it is because it has this print it's made out of canvas it's brown and it's gold plated now i really really loved this bag when i saw it online i love the color i love the size i'm gonna come up closer but when you look closely at this bag, it has a lot of defects. I just can't get over the defects. So I am selling. This is in fact the bag that I'm selling on uh, Spock, not on Spock, on Vesta Collective. So if you are interested, DM me, email me. So this is the bag. It's made out of canvas. If you look closer, as you can see, it's gold plated. As you can see, it's now silver and gold, which I did not like and nor did I see on the website. If I just turn the bag around like this, you can see also this is gold plated and you can see it's now rusty. This zip should actually be gold and it's not. I don't know if you can see on camera. Can you guys see? Yeah, can you see the colour of the zip? It's grey, which I just don't like. And then if we turn the bag around like this, it's not, it's like silver and gold. So there's loads and loads of defects on this. The strap itself, it's fine, but I just don't like the colour of the hardware. Um, and then obviously this is the inside. Um, I've just got like loads of receipts in here. But another thing that I did not like about this bag is the shredding. As you can see, the inside is like peely and yeah, I just did not like that at all. Um, Obviously, here is the Gucci sort of like imprint and then it has the code up here. And basically, this tells you when it was made and I think it was made in 68. I'm not too sure. From here, from here, it's a nice bag. From here, it's not a nice bag. Just because of that, I just, I just don't like this. So yeah, you have to be really careful when buying on Best Day Collective because you don't see this bag in all angles. If you are looking to buy a bag, you need to ask to see pictures of the hardware, ask to see pictures of the inside and ask to see pictures of the strap. It's really, really important. I mean, I would really love to, to have this bag in my collection. It's a good bag and you can wear it with so many different things and this Gucci print will not come out of style anytime soon but it was just the fact that the hardware i just i just can't i can't with the hardware this bag was more on the expensive side i think i paid like 265 maybe even 300 pounds for this bag i've gotten a lot of interest on best day collective for this bag and i actually have been made three or four offers but they've not been what i what i've put this bag out for i think i've put it out for like 350 and i'm getting offers of like 250 280 but i might sell it on ebay i might sell it on ebay i might i might sell it on depop and i might sell it on spook it depends how i feel i have worn it a few times it looks great with this outfit great with all black great for winter great for summer i just don't like the multicolored hardware i'm not a multicolored hardware kind of gal so the next two bags are not from Vesta Collective, but they are pre-loved items. I'm actually going to show you the bag that I purchased from Depop first and then go on to the Spock bag. 
So this is the bag I purchased from Depop and it is a Vivian Westwood and Westwood. It's a Vivian Westwood purse bag, I believe. It looks like an old coin purse bag and it's in pink and gold hardware. This bag is my baby. Um, so it looks like this. It's Vivian Westwood. Now I have seen these in now I have seen this bag in Vista Village and I've also seen it on Vista Collective, but they tend to sell out very, very quickly. It also comes with a gold strap, which is in the bag, and I'll show you. Oh my god! I was looking everywhere for this oh my gosh and this oh my gosh um so it's got like the vivian westwood imprint and this is the chain so you can wear it as like a, literally a purse like that oops so you can wear it as a purse so like that, or you can wear it with the strap bag and it will turn into a side body bag. But it's just a cute bag. This is a such a girly bag. Love it. Can you guys see here? So yeah, this bag I purchased for £65 on Depop, but I think it retails for about 100 150 Um, I saw it on, I saw it invest, no, I saw it in Vista Village for about £120, I believe. I don't know if Vivian Westwood still do bags like this. You definitely will have to purchase on a second-hand market. That's one good thing about buying pre-loved. You have things that not a lot of people have at that present moment because a lot of the things that are pre-loved are items that are sold out or from like seasons from years ago. So yeah, this is my third second-hand item. So the last bag you guys would have seen everywhere on my channel i've done a what's in my bag video i'll link it somewhere here but it's this beauty and this is the louis vuitton pochetta or pochette bag and it's so so cute i'm really really happy i got it i actually bought it for 100 pounds from uh depop and i was also scared not depop on spock and i thought it would be fake and i went to lv and said you know can you tell me this whether this bag is real and they said i could confirm that it's a little bit hard an item um and if it wasn't i think they like push it away and say this is not a little bit on item it comes like this I still use this. I used it to yesterday and today. So it comes like this. Uh, obviously in the Louis Vuitton canvas. The leather has patines. If I come closer, you should see it patines. Um, again, this also has the discoloration hardware because I really wanted this bag. It did not bother me. And then inside is just brown like this. Um, <laughs> I've got a mask in here, I've got Vaseline, tampons, you know the drill. But this bag fits so many things inside of it. It fits my whole world. <laughs> like if my whole world had to fit in a bag, this bag would be able to, to carry my whole world. <laughs> but yeah, I love this bag. It's a very, very cute. You can wear it on a night out. You can wear it dressed up dressed down some people actually buy a strap and wear it crossbody but i just like to wear it like this i love how the leather is dark now um and it's a really nice bag and this is my second lv piece that i purchased um as you can see i'm slowly starting to get into luxury i am in love with this bag it's like my favorite bag <laughs> me and all my bags Thumb now these are all the bags that I have purchased on the second hand market. I'm slowly starting to build my collection up. As you can see, I am a big lover of LV and a little bit of Gucci here and there, but definitely LV has to be sort of the bag that I go to. That's because you can wear a lot of things with it. I will do a um, mini handbag collection video because I have a few more, um, which you guys have not seen, and I will make sure that I do videos on them. I hope 
hope you liked the video guys i hope that was helpful those are some of my designer items that i have bought on the pre-loved market one advice that i would give you when buying pre-loved is just ask as much questions as possible and request to see pictures i think there's nothing worse than you know having your heart set on a bag seeing it online and then receiving a bag and it just and it just look like sh but definitely keep your eyes peeled and um, sign up to email alerts which also helped me and just add things on your wish list and Vesta Collective and all these other sites will be able to sort of um, notify you when the item that you want or an item similar to what you want becomes available so that is my one tip or the two tips anyway guys i hope you liked that video um so you can kind of get to see sort of what my style is like and um, if you are new here welcome to my channel i hope you liked the video make sure you like make sure you comment and make sure you subscribe to my channel and for those who are returning thank you so much for watching another one of my videos and i'll see you soon bye